In this video, we're gonna talk about seven different things that you could be doing for preventative maintenance on your household plumbing. Hey everyone, I hope everybody's safe uh, while we're dealing with this COVID-19 and uh, let's beat this virus. Let's everybody do what we're supposed to do. Uh, Self-isolate, quarantine yourselves, um, do, do what's necessary to beat this virus. Um, so in that, in that case, let's get into seven things that we're gonna do to help and have preventative maintenance on the plumbing issues. If you are self-quarantined, this is a great time to do it. You'll have a little bit more time at home to kind of tinker around and look at some plumbing that is you know, causing you issues that you didn't know that was there before. So let's get into these and I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get into this video. All right, so number one, the first thing you want to do is you want to check for leaks. Let's do a weekly check, okay? Um, so you want to check for, for leaks around your toilet base, around any shut off valves in your house, whether they're underneath your kitchen, uh, whether underneath your uh, pedestal, basin sink, vanity sink, cabinets, or whatever. Um, and you also want to uh, check for check around your wash machine as well. That's a really good one. Okay, let's check the hoses behind your washing machine. Check it right to the box or your shutoffs as well behind the wash machine. Let's also check around your dishwasher. So you can check, you can look underneath the dishwasher, make sure there's no water coming behind it. Um, and also check the drain hose that's connected, should be connected underneath your kitchen sink as well. And let's not forget your hot water tank. Let's do a little walk around the hot water tank. Let's make sure that there's no water leaking from the base of the tank or from the connections that go to the tank, the hot and cold connections. And let's also check that relief valve as well. And I'll put a link right here. You can check that video out that will show you um, a little bit of maintenance for your hot water tank if you are unsure about what you're dealing with with that. All right, number two. Okay, let's get into your drains, okay? So now we're at home a little bit more, and now we're gonna be using our drains a little bit more frequently than we would be usually. So let's try to keep those drains clean, okay? So what I like to use is I like to use baking soda and vinegar, okay? Um, so I'll, I'll leave a link right here in the description. I got some great videos, or great video, sorry, on how to clean your drains eco-friendly, and it's a lot cheaper than using uh, Drano or other drain cleaning uh, chemicals. And it's like I said, it's a lot more friendly on the environment. And right now, um, everybody that's dealing at the water plants right now, they're going through probably a pile of, of more water uh, just because everybody's sitting at home um, using more water than usual. Um, so <clears throat> I, what I also like to do is I, used, I like to, once I've used baking soda and vinegar through the drain, I like to use a little bit of lime juice. It freshens up the drain a little bit. Uh, that's optional if you want to do that or not. Uh, one thing I do want to say is do not mix vinegar and bleach together. Uh, I've read that uh, it creates a, a harsh chemical uh, for breathing. Um, and do not use vinegar and baking soda down your toilet. Just use a standard uh, toilet cleaner. Um, and if your toilet is backing up, either you wanna use a plunger, which I'll leave a link in the description here, uh, or even a card, sorry, uh, for you to check out a video on how to properly plunge a toilet. And also um, another video on how to snake a toilet with a toilet snake. Um, yeah, so let's move on to the next. Number three. Do not flush tampons, paper towel, Kleenex, or rags down the toilet. Pretty simple, I know, but there's some people that just don't know. Okay, so, but now you know. Um, these can cause very big problems uh, that are very, very costly to fix. And if they do happen to go through your drainage to the city, let's say you're in the city, um, that still goes to a water treatment plant. And those people there have to deal with it, okay? So let's give them a break. They're probably dealing with a lot of that happening right now. So anybody that can chip in and do a little bit here and they're not to flush these things down the toilet are gonna help them enormously. Uh, let's move on to the next. All right, so now that you're home, it's also a good time to get that hot water tank flushed, okay? I'm gonna put a card here so that you guys can check that video. And um, it's a very simple procedure to do it. Um, but it uh, be a good video to do and a good, good thing to do in your house right now while you're at home anyways. Number five, re-siliconing around your shower and also re-siliconing around your tub if you have a tub or a shower or if you have a tub shower anyway. It's always nice to have, excuse me, it's always nice to have fresh silicone um, to, a, to, to assure that you're not getting any water behind your tiles or whatever surface that you're, you have in your shower or your tub shower. Number six, 
good idea to run some vinegar through your dishwasher through a full cycle. What that will do is it'll just help clean up any of the calcium that's uh, in your dishwasher, but also in around the pump and also around the drain hose of the actual dishwasher itself. All right, number seven. Okay, this is more like a do not. Uh, if you are doing this right now, uh, absolutely take take them out of the toilet tank immediately. Um, they will just cause you issues down the road, okay? Uh, do not use toilet tabs, cleaners, or any chemicals in the tank of the toilet. Um, it wears away at all the rubber seals that are in the toilet, and it could cause leaks down the road, or even right now. Uh, it also it uh, it also is hard on the fill valve itself. In, um, different styles of fill valves have uh, different mechanisms inside, and just that cleaner and stuff. That fill valve is not designed to have any chemicals in the tank itself. It's meant just to use water. Um, and that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, stay tuned for more videos just like this one. Like I said, we are the plumbing gurus trying to save you money and keep you informed on all the proper plumbing practices. I hope that everybody out there is being safe through this pandemic that we are going through. And like I said, let's be strong together, everybody, and let's do our due diligence. Keep your hands clean. Keep your six foot distance away from each other. Uh, let's, let's do our best to get through this one strong and keep our heads up. And uh, don't forget, help whoever you can at this time. This is the time to help people as much as we can. And you guys all, please take care. Uh, don't forget, smash that subscribe button, uh, hit a like, and also uh, please leave us a comment. We appreciate it very much. Thank you very much, you guys. Take care. See you on the next one.